Assalamualaikum and hi everyone, my lovely student. Okay, uh, for this video, we are going to discuss uh, the last exercise in chapter 2 from 5, matrices, uh, self-practice 2.2H. Uh, in this question, basically uh, to solve problem, so have a look at question number 1. A research, a research in is conducted conducted on the sales of two types of curry puff with sardine and potato fillings. In the first hour, 24 curry puff with sardine filling and 18 curry puff with potato filling are sold. And the total amount of sale is 28 ringgit 80 cent. In the next hour, 30 curry puff with sardine filling and 14 curry puff with potato filling are sold. And the total amount of sale is 29 ringgit 20 cent. Calculate the price, prices for a curry puff with sardine filling and a curry puff with filling using the metric method. So, first step, uh, you have to let X. We have to use unknown, okay? X as curry puff with sardine filling and let Y equals to curry puff with potato filling. Next, form N, uh, form two equation, two linear equation. As you can see, okay, I will use N so that it's easier for you to see and I want you to use uh, blue color. Alright. So, for the first hour, 24 with sardine filling. Is now, this is X. And 18 with potato filling. So, this is the amount of sale. So, 24X plus 18Y equals to 28. 80 cent. So next, for the second linear equation, 30 curry puff with sardine filling, so 30x plus 14 curry puff with potato filling, so 14y equals to 29 ringgit 20 cent. So they already form two linear equation. Next, write this two linear equation in the form of matrix. So, like this. Then, solve this equation. So, you will get value of x and y. So, the conclusion is the price for a curry puff with sudden filling equals to 20 cent as 60 cent. And the price of the curry puff with potato filling equals to 80 cent. Because we get the answer here 0 0.8, so 80 cent. Alright, so next, question number 2. Akmal spends 68 ringgit a week on the two spots as mentioned below. Calculate the time in hours Akmal spent in the sport club for swimming and playing badminton in a week using the metric method. So this is what Akmal said. I spent 10 hours a week for swimming and playing badminton in sport club. Sport club. So let x equals to time for swimming and y equals to time for playing badminton. So we can form two. So eight ringgit per hour. So this is for swimming. So eight x plus five y. Five is five ringgit per hour for badminton equals to. 68 ringgit as mentioned in the question must spend 68 ringgit a week for the two um, spots here 
next uh, Akmal said that uh, he spent 10 hours for playing badminton, swimming and badminton. So x plus y equals to n. So here we get two uh, simultaneous linear equation. So just write these two linear equation in the form of metric and solve this metric. So you'll get the value of x and y equals to 6 and 4. So we can conclude that the spend time for swimming equals to 6 hours and the time spent for badminton playing badminton equals to 4 hours. Alright, so question number 3. Pan Komala and Pan Lily go to the market to buy papaya and banana. The table below shows the mass of the papaya and banana bought by them. So, Puan Kuamala buy 4 kg papaya and 2 kg banana. Why Puan Lily buy uh, two, uh, 5 kg papaya and 3 kg banana. Puan Kuamala and Puan Lily pay 26 and 35 ringgit respectively for the two types of fruits. So, calculate the prices of 1 kilogram of papaya and 1 kilogram of banana using the metric. So, first let x equals to the price of papaya and y equals to the price of uh, banana. So, next, where is my equation? Okay, so this is the linear equation. Sorry for the delay. Alright, so... For x because this is papaya plus 2y, y is banana equals to 26 ringgit. So this is for Puan Komala. And this is the linear equation for Puan Lili. So once you get two linear equation like this, then write in the form of metric, then solve. So this is the conclusion. The price of 1 kilogram of papaya of papaya equals to 5 ringgit and the price of 1 kilogram of papaya eh, of banana equals to 5 ringgit okay so question number 4 a building has several parking spaces for cars and motorcycles one day there were a total of 66 vehicles parked there and the total of wheel was 190. Right, calculate the number of cars and number of motorcycles. So, this is the unknown. Park that day using the metric method. Assume that all motorcycles are two uh, wheel. Okay, so first let x equals to number of car because this is the unknown yang, uh, that we want to. So, y equals to number of motorcycles. So, the first um, sentence for the info here, there were total 66 vehicles. So, that x plus y equals to 66 for the first linear equation. Next, uh, the total number of wheel was 190. So, as you know, the number of the number of wheel of car is four, so for x plus number of motorcycles, the number of wheel of motorcycle is two, so for x plus two y is two hundred ninety. So once we get two linear equation like this, we write this two linear equation in the form of metric and solve the metric. So, we get the value of x and y, which is the number of cars and the number of motorcycles at that day. Okay, question number 5. Encik Jeffrey and Encik Tan inverse in unit trust P and unit trust Q as shown in the table below. So, this is for Encik Jeffrey for unit trust P and Q and this is uh, the, uh, for Encik Tan. Okay, after a year, 
Encik Jeffrey get a dividend of 350 from the investment of both of the unit trust, or unit trust while Encik Tan get a dividend of 440. Calculate the dividend rates for unit trust P and unit trust Q using the metric method. That is my marks. Okay. So, first let X equals to unit trust P, Y equals to unit trust Q. So, this is the two linear equation. For a 500X plus 3,000X uh, plus 3,000Y equals to 350, which is, this is for Anche Jeffrey. So, this is the um, investment for Encik Tan. So, this is the dividend. Okay, from this two linear equation, you can write in the form of metric and solve. So, you will get uh, the value of x and y equals to 0 0.04 and 0 0.05. So, the, the question asks you to calculate the dividend rate. So, you have to times this with 100%. So, this is the dividend rate for unit trust P, which is 4%, and unit trust Q is 5%. Alright, that's all for exercise 2.2H. Thank you, and see you in the next video.